Hello, hello, Facebook, Instagram, nice to have you guys. Um, super excited to come back for week three of our summer fun educational series. Um, and I have a lot of notes prepared for you guys. We're gonna talk today, hey over there on Instagram, we're gonna talk today about emotional health. So we'll talk a lot about essential oils and emotional health, but we're also just gonna talk about way of life and emotional health and how much um, our gut and our, our brain and our heart all have to do with our emotional health. Hey, Noemi. Uh, so when we look at kind of overall wellness and just like where we are in, in our health and wellness, we have to look at our, you've probably heard this a million times, like our, our mind, body, and spirit, like that connection of the three parts. Um, and, and if we don't feel connected in those three parts, we really can't be fulfilled. So maybe your body's really healthy. You work out every day, but you don't nourish your mind. You don't um, take time to journal or meditate or, or do practices until you mentally, then you might be really healthy on the physical side, um, but you see this all the time. Who can think of somebody in their family or friend group that was that really fit marathon runner that died of a heart attack in their 50s because they lived a high stress life um, with a very stressful job and they didn't take time to take care of their mental health, right? So these things all correlate together and we need to make sure that we're balancing everything. So. Um, your body is made up of intelligent cells designed to continually restore health throughout our bodies. So I'm going to keep looking down at my notes because I don't want to miss anything. But we need to make sure that we're addressing all of these cells, all of these parts of our body. So our emotions are actually chemicals. They're, they're information carrying molecules that bind and react with our cells. So they react with the receptors of the cells and go into our cells and affect our health on a cellular level. So if you're not healthy mentally, you really, truly aren't healthy. So that's why this whole mental health push is so huge right now. We really need to take care of ourselves physically and mentally, right? So emotions go into cells, they impact cells function, um, and therefore they're affecting our energy, our mood, our health, and our behaviors. So they do much more than make us happy, sad, angry, whatever it is, emotion we're feeling. So our emotions are connected with three different brains. So um, through research and things, they've revealed that there's a really complex organization of our neural processing, and it has to do with our mind, uh, our heart, and our gut. And these three things affect our health, where a lot of times, our mental health, so we kind of think mental health lives all up here, right? Uh, but it doesn't, and there's definitely, this will kind of make more sense as, as we go through it. Um, so the first part of our health is our mind our logic, our brain. Uh, do you know that your subconscious mind directs over 90% of your behavior? So just think about this. Uh, how many times have you driven your kids to school or driven to work? And you're literally thinking to yourself when you get there, I have no idea how I just got here. I don't remember what roads I took. Hey, Brooke, how are you? Uh, thanks for joining. So, you know, we don't remember. Actually, I learned a lot of this amazing stuff from Brooke. So I'm super happy she's, she's on here to join us. Uh, we, we just go on this subconscious process and we just go through our day and move through our day. And sometimes we don't even think twice about it. Um, there's different numbers out there, but they say you have like 60 to 65,000 thoughts a day. Um, and almost 95% of them are the same as yesterday. So if you were having negative thoughts, they're just repeating themselves. And they're creating this vicious cycle and they're really making you unhealthy. Um, so we need to learn how to control some of our subconscious thoughts. So um, basically the brain's a conductor of how the body flows and how we feel emotionally and how we behave physically. So we need to make sure that we're addressing that mind. So I'm going to give you guys some tips today on how to address that mental through some essential oils. Uh, but outside of essential oils, some things that you can be doing are definitely meditating, uh, journaling, paying attention to the thoughts that come into your mind, really trying to change those thoughts. So when you keep telling yourself, you keep hearing yourself, I'm, I'm such a, I hear this all the time, I'm being a bad mom right now. Um, and I don't have kids, but I hear moms say this all the time and it breaks my heart. And I'm like, why? Why are you being a bad mom? Your kid is healthy, clothed, clean, fed. Like you're putting yourself to some standard or expectation of motherhood that is just so hard. So instead of changing that, instead of saying that, you can change that to, um, 
I'm showing up and loving my child, right? Like, so, so you can change those thoughts and the things you're saying to yourself um, to, to make you less hard on yourself. Like we wouldn't talk to other people the way we talk to ourselves. So sometimes I think that's an important thing to remember when you're talking about mental health is like your, your brain health and your logic and things. Like if you're saying something to yourself and if you can say, I would call my best friend and say this to her right now, or I would say this to a stranger on the street right now, then yeah, keep saying it. But if you are saying it and don't feel like you would be able to say it to anybody else in your life, then you're being really mean to yourself and really judgmental on yourself. So kind of check that, right? So then we look at our heart. Um, the heart is our intuition center. So we have more neural pathways run from the heart to the brain than from the brain to the heart. So this has more control over this than vice versa. So we kind of would always think that this has more control going down that brain, but the heart has more control. Um, so the messages are discerned in the heart. You think of times where your heart's fluttered or you feel a little overwhelmed um, and, and anxious in your heart, right? So that's that heart and all of those receptors reacting. Uh, so then we look at our gut health. And honestly, I don't even think until recent years did even science realize how much the gut had to do with our mental and physical health, right? So our gut health, 90% of the body's serotonin and other feel-good chemicals are produced in the gut. So if we don't have a healthy gut, we don't have a healthy body. So we need to make sure that uh, we're taking care of our gut so that the gut can really dispense the right emotional triggers for our bodies, right? So we'll talk a lot about that. So uh, when we have connection between our our mind, our heart, and our gut, and we have health between our mind, our heart, and our gut, we feel good. We live in wellness. We live in health. So that's where we want to be and that's where we want to live. Um, so let's kind of talk about what it means with your, your specific beliefs and your emotions. So let's kind of go through this scenario. So you are um, either, you know, you're maybe your mom and you have a baby crying and a dog barking at you and the phone's ringing at the same time. Or maybe you are, you know, at work and you have an employee knocking on your door, emails digging in your email box, and you're on a really important business call, right? So maybe all of those things are happening at the same time. And we can just kind of close our eyes and picture how we would feel, right? So when we're processing that, we'll think about the mind. The mind is saying, I have to figure this all out. I have to take care of the person knocking on my door. I need to answer these emails before I go to lunch. And I have to pay attention to whoever I'm on the phone with. I need to figure this out. It's my responsibility right? And then your heart's saying, holy crud, I am overwhelmed. I just need to scream and breathe for a second. And then your stomach is saying, I'm stuck. I don't even know what to do here. Maybe you have some physical symptoms of that stuckness, some um, like occasional constipation or things that come with those high levels of stress, right? But then we have our reaction. So our body reacts. So we have, like I said, that unsettled stomach, maybe those butterflies in your stomach, um, different digestive issues. You have really conflicted feelings in your heart because maybe you're on the phone at work with your spouse and you're uh, trying to pay attention to work and do a good job, but your spouse needs attention from you, right? So maybe you're really conflicted and torn. Uh, and then your head starts to hurt. You get a headache. You feel this pounding. You just feel like your head wants to explode, right? And then we start to believe, I'm not good enough. I'm not doing a good enough job. I'm not showing up in all of these places. Uh, and your beliefs about your life become your reality. So if we have these same cycles and same beliefs all the time, we're going to be putting ourselves in these really unhealthy places and positions. So that's not what we want. And, and that's where we can kind of start talking about, there's so many things. I mean, being a yoga instructor and uh, working on mindfulness and meditation and 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 a lot of those habits, there's so much I could give you on that, but I really want to focus today on some of the essential oils and how you can use them. So if you know, I know that I prefer and only use doTERRA essential oils. So I'm going to talk to you about some of my favorites and some of the ones that you can use on a regular basis to just help support your emotions. So the first one is balance. Balance is an incredible blend of essential oils. Um, frankincense is in here. It's one of my favorite essential oils. Uh, this essential oil you can take and to put a drop in your hands, any oil, you can just do this. And you can take a couple deep breaths when those feelings of overwhelm come. Um, then you can also apply it to your third eye, so right between your eyebrows and the back of your neck, inside your wrists. Uh, so, so let me give you some ideas. If we want to affect the mind, the fastest way to do it 
third eye, top of your head, back of your neck, okay? Fastest way to do it. If we want to affect our heart, the fastest way to do it is inside of the wrist, inside of the elbows, or directly over the heart. And if we want to affect the gut, the fastest way to do it is around the belly button or right on the solar plexus, right above the belly button. So those are going to be your fastest places that you're going to apply essential oils to affect those different brains. Um, so balance is exactly what it says. It just restores balance in your life. It's very grounding. It's very relaxing. So this is a great essential oil to use throughout the day to just help us come from way up here to way down here and feel a lot more stable, okay? So this is one of my favorite essential oils for emotions. This is one of my oils I use every single day. Um, I actually keep it on my and I wake up and I put that right on the bottom of my feet to just create a good sense in my body, a good state. Um, so uh, I learned this and it kind of blew my mind. A, and, uh, medications that you would take to relieve anxious symptoms take 15 to 20 minutes to kick in. So if you're taking something for severe feelings and this crazy overwhelm, it takes 15 to 20 minutes to kick in. That's a lot of time. This was put to me by my friend Brooke this way. That's a lot of time to make some really serious decisions in your life that could impact you and those around you for the rest of your life. 15 to 20 minutes. When you close your eyes and take a few deep breaths of an essential oil, you will begin to feel an effect within seven to 10 seconds. Wouldn't we rather have something that we can take and use and smell and have an effect within seven to 10 seconds? That's a lot less time to make a really serious decision in your life. Um, so I am all about using the oils aromatically. So it's the fastest way to affect your mood, using them aromatically. Um, so that's smelling them, smelling them out of the bottle, smelling them out of your hands, smelling them out of a diffuser. Uh, and it goes right to your limbic area, which is uh, the emotional seat in your brain. Your limbic brain is what really affects your emotions, right? So we want to get the essential oils there as fast as we can. So uh, some things that you can do uh, when you're feeling that overwhelm, like I said, Breathe it in, amazing. Another one you might use aromatically if you're feeling that kind of tension in our head and the stress in our neck and stuff, you're gonna grab your peppermint. You're gonna take a drop, you're gonna breathe it in, and you're gonna apply it to the back of your neck, maybe your temples. So you can use it aromatically and topically. So topically, again, we talked about the different places you can put them, uh, but you wanna put them to the specific brain you're working on, here, here, or here. So kind of keep that in mind. Uh, when I'm feeling that pressure here and I'm feeling like I, I just can't breathe and everything's sitting on me, I go to my breathe essential oil. So same thing, I'd take a drop, I'd breathe it in, I'd apply it over my chest. It's actually one of my favorites. I use this before yoga a lot. So you just take that, take a nice deep breath and you can just apply it over your chest. Just be careful, breathe has lemon in it. So if you're gonna be in the sun, you just wanna not put that somewhere where the sun can, um, or it's gonna be hitting you, right? So uh, the breathe can help because what happens when we emotionally react is we constrict, we get tension, um, we get sh slower, more shallow breaths. So we're not getting as much oxygen to our body. And then we start to even go into a state of panic or those overwhelming anxious feelings. So that breathe is going to be something that's going to help break that really fast for you. Uh, and then we need to make sure that we're keeping our body healthy. We're, we're not letting these, these overwhelming things of our body, we need to keep our immune system strong. So in order to do that, I take a drop of On Guard every day. I just take this and I'll put it in my tea or I'll put it in a little bit of water and drink it or even a veggie cat. But just doing a drop of that every day just to support your overall system is so good. Um, On Guard also protects your heart. It's a really uh, protective blend that helps instill boundaries. So you can take like On Guard and Melaleuca and put a drop each over your heart or put a drop each over your solar plexus, which is right under uh, your ribs, right over your belly button. Uh, and that can help to instill some boundaries. Um, there's a lot more that goes into that. And um, 
but if you need something quickly to like help wipe some emotions away, protect yourself from a, a bad situation. Maybe you have to talk to someone that stresses you out. Uh, maybe you have to go into a situation at work that's a little overwhelming. Put a little um, on guard over your heart, a little melaleuca over your solar plexus. Get out of that meeting. Put some melaleuca on um, top of your head, top of your shoulders, inside your wrist. That's going to just help flush some of that energy away. So um, we need to make sure now that we kind of talk about some general health. Like what can we do to keep our bodies healthy? So um, some of the things that I do regularly is I drink a ton of water. I have my big 40 ounce water bottle. I drink like three or four of these a day. You should be trying to drink half your body weight in ounces of water a day. Um, that's a bare minimum. So drinking more if you can. So increasing your water intake. I like to add things like lemon or tangerine or lime or different citrus oils to my water. Uh, increase your exercise and movement. Make sure that you're doing that, you know, 30 minutes, a 30 minutes a day, at least five days a week is the minimum recommendation. Rest and meditate. Are you giving yourself time to come down? Or do you work, run, go, 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 and then be like, I got to go to bed or I'm not going to get up in time tomorrow, right? You got to make sure you're having some decompression time. And then improve your diet. Right? So dopamine and serotonin are secreted in the gut. 90% of serotonin is secreted in the gut, right? So uh, if we eat well, we'll be secreting the right healthy hormones at the right levels. If we don't eat well and we don't take care of our gut, we won't be taking care of our emotional systems um, and, and secreting the right hormones. So we will be unhealthy and you can end up with things like some digestive stuff going on. Um, maybe things just aren't processing the way you should, the body's not absorbing the nutrients the way it should, uh, and that could bring you back. Maybe you've done all the tests and nothing's showing up really at the doctors and nothing they're doing is working. Well, reevaluate your emotional health and see how you can um, correlate that to your gut health, but also look at what you're eating. Are you drinking soda? Are you eating processed food? Are you eating fat food? fast food, like what are you doing? What are you putting into your body? Uh, and and start to make some small changes and, and move forward with that. So I want to talk to you about one of the things I do regularly to just keep my body healthy. Uh, I do doTERRA's 30-day cleanse, and I'm actually going to talk about that next week on my Tuesday educational series. So if you want to learn more about the cleanse, mark your calendar right now. Next Tuesday, 10 a.m., I will be going live and talking about that. Uh, but the cleanse is really designed to gently flush and support our digestive tract so that we can really feel better. And I do this quarterly because one, I start to feel like my emotions get a little out of control. Two, I feel like I get a little bloating and just digestive upset. So I feel like I just need some support to like get flush my system out and get started on a fresh plate. Uh, and I like to do it quarterly with the changes of the season. So for me, that's just like a great time to do it. So um, cleansing is so important. If you're struggling with emotional health, and you've kind of tried a lot of the emotional stuff, try the cleanse. Do that. Do that regularly. Maybe you need to do it four months in a row. When I first started with doTERRA, I was a hot mess following my back injury and things. I did it four months in a row. I never felt better. It was amazing. It was necessary. I needed it. So making sure that you're evaluating that gut health and looking at that when you're doing, um, when you're struggling with some of this. But I'm going to show you about some of doTERRA's. We have a lot of emotional oils. Uh, but we have an emotional aromatherapy line, and I'm going to talk to you guys about these oils and just give you a little insight on what these oils do and how to use them. So again, in review, if we're trying to affect the mind, the logic center, back of the neck, top of the head, third eye, great for that. If we're trying to affect the heart center, we're going to go over the heart inside of the elbows and if we're trying to affect the gut we're going to go around the belly button or on the solar plexus so those are going to be your fastest best ways to do it uh, so all of our emotional aromatherapy oils are kind of a combination of two things so we look at something like motivate motivate is our encouraging blend uh, and this is a blend of mints and citrus. So it's really great to go to motivate when you're feeling apathetic, insecure, you have anxious feelings, you're feeling discouraged, gloomy, or distressed. You're going to take that oil, you're going to apply it topically, you're going to breathe it in, you're going to diffuse it, do what works for you. So citruses in general, when you think of citrus plants, 
they grow in warm tropical environments, sunny environments. They grow high off the ground. They're, they're high. They're uplifting, right? So citrus oils in general do that for us. They lift us up. They make us feel sunny and bright. And then you have um, a combination with citrus called cheer. So cheer is going to be our citrus and our spices, okay? So spices are more warming. Um, cheer is going to be good if you're feeling discouraged, gloomy, distressed, somber, disinterested, or bored. So like I said, spices are, they're fiery, they're warm, right? So they're going to help us come out of that low boredom and, and lift us up, right? So that's, that's a great way to think about the spices. Then you have passion. So passion is, is a combination of spices and herbs and grasses. Uh, so passion is going to, if you're feeling somber, disinterested, bored, disconnected, bitter, angry, you need some motivation in your personal life, in your work life, you just need some uplifting, you're gonna go to passion. You're gonna diffuse it, you're gonna put it on topically. I love putting this one over my heart, so it's a great essential oil. My favorite of all of these emotional essential oils, hey Kathy, how are you, is forgive. Forgive is the renewing blend. So forgive is going to be good if you're feeling disconnected, bitter, angry, ashamed, sad, or grieving. So it's a combination of herbs and grasses and trees. So let's think about trees for a second. Trees are, <coughs> excuse me, um, trees are rooted. They're very strong. They're sturdy. So when we're feeling kind of all over the place with our emotions, coming to something that has trees in it, something that's really earthy and rooted, that's going to make us feel better, right? That's why balance is so good. That's why forgive is so good for that. Um, forgive has been shown to increase our positive emotions and decrease our negative emotions. Who doesn't want that, right? So I use forgive actually every single day. Um, it's in my yoga bag. I put it on before Shavasana, during my yoga practice. It's, it's always on me. I love forgive. So then we have an oil called console. And console is the comforting blend. So the comforting blend is great to apply right over the heart, over the temples. It's just a great oil. It's a mixture of florals and trees. So flowers are powerful supporters of emotions. We get flowers for the feelings of love, of um, of empathy, sadness, right? For funerals. Flowers are one of the biggest staples for funerals. Flowers are on my teacup. Um, so flowers are something that is just kind of like a warm hug. So you're going to use console when you're feeling fearful, worried, hurt, grieving, sad, ashamed. It's an amazing essential oil for that. Uh, and the last essential oil in this combo is peace. And peace is our reassuring blend. So this is going to be a combination of mints and florals, and it's going to help with apathetic, insecure, anxious, fearful, worried, hurt. Those are just some of the emotions that are listed when we talk about that essential oil. So what I always like to say is if you're struggling with emotions, uh, there's two things I recommend you get within doTERRA. One is the cleanse and all that's included in the cleanse. And two is your set of emotional aromatherapy oils. So you can get started with a kit if you don't have, um, I'm lost you on Instagram for a second, there we go. If you don't have a membership with doTERRA, you can get something called the Emotional Aromatherapy Diffuse Kit. And it comes with all six of these oils and the amazing Lumo diffuser that runs for one, five or 10 hours. Uh, and that's just 195 if you haven't gotten started yet. If you are a member, with doTERRA, you can grab those essential oils still in the packages. I'm going to show you. So you can get this package that has all six of the emotional aromatherapy oils, and that was 159 at wholesale. Um, so, and then the other thing that doTERRA does is they have these emotional aromatherapy oils in touch rollers so they're very convenient so so if you're feeling like console is what you need you can literally just take it and roll it over your heart it's like wham bam you're done super easy um, so you can get that set from doTERRA if you're a member for only a hundred dollars and if you're not a member it's just 135 dollars uh, so that is some great ways to grab that uh, the cleanse itself is I don't want to misspeak on the price tag um, I believe, hold on, I think it's in here. No, it's not. The cleanse itself is um, 245 
So you can get that as a member or as a new person if you want to start with that cleanse. So those are kind of my recommendations as far as like where to start when you're really trying to take care of your emotional health. Uh, and it's just because they're going to cover most of the needs and really start with those kind of three brain centers doing the emotional aromatherapy oils and the gut really focusing on the gut. Um, so hopefully that helps answer some of your guys questions about emotions and essential oils. Uh, if you are new to essential oils and you want to learn more and maybe get started with one of those kits, just comment below or send me a message. I'll get right back to you. If you're working with somebody else already, just go back to them and tell them what you learned and tell them what you want to get started with. Uh, but hopefully you're enjoying this series next week. I'm going to come back to you and talk to you about the cleanse and what the doTERRA cleanse includes. So that's next Tuesday, 10 um, Pacific Standard Time. And you can always catch the recording, tag your friends, um, have people watch it if they, you know, need to learn this info. So thank you so much on Instagram. It'll be available for 24 hours on Facebook. You can go back and find it indefinitely.